Edinburgh had only been beaten once at Murrayfield all season. Alan Solomons included seven Scottish internationals in all. And one of those, Greg Laidlaw, opened the scoring in the ninth minute for 3-0. Although the lead didn't last long, as Dan Parks, back on familiar territory, popped a drop goal over to level the scores. Having been beaten in seven straight Pro 12 encounters, Connacht coach Pat Lamb made six changes to his side for this one, with Robbie Henshaw, who signed a new contract during the week, starting at full-back. On 15 minutes, Henshaw celebrated his new contract with a try after a lovely move involving most of the backs. Henshaw showing how valuable he is to this Connock side. Park's conversion was successful and the visitors were 10-3 ahead. Laidlaw brought Edinburgh back into it with two more penalties as they dominated possession. This one for 6-10. And as they continued to press, another opportunity presented itself. This kick from right in front of the posts was a gimme for a player of Laidlaw's class. Now the Scots only trailed by one point, 9-10. And right on the stroke of half-time, Edinburgh struck a decisive blow. Having scored against Ulster the previous week, Doogie Fife was again on the mark this time. First try of the night for the home side, and when Laidlaw converted, it gave Edinburgh a 16-10 lead at the half-time break. They never really looked back from there. Laidlaw tagged on another three points on 51 minutes and then three more just short of the hour mark to give Edinburgh a healthy 22-10 lead. The Scots kicked on from there and on 73 minutes they wrapped things up when Cornell Dupriez got over for his third try in as many games. The big man from Port Elizabeth driving over the line and putting clear daylight between the sides. When Laidlaw converted it was 29-10 and Connacht's resistance seemed broken. Edinburgh were rampant and in the 77th minute, try number three for the home side was scored by Nick DeLuca. A horror pass from Owen Griffin, leading to the Scottish international second try of the campaign. Laidlaw converted for 36-10. Suddenly the bonus point became a real possibility. And that possibility became reality just before the end when the ever-reliable WP Nell got over for the all-important fourth try. Sprinting clear in the manner of a centre, this was his third try in his last four matches, an excellent return for a prop. When Laidlaw once again notched the conversion, it left it 43 points to 10. And that is how the game finished. So Edinburgh left it late, but ensured a bonus point win in the end. Connacht left to lick their wounds after a second half capitulation. Final score at Murrayfield, Edinburgh 43, Connacht 10.